What would you gain if you lose your soul? What does it profit the man to gain the world and lose his soul? I'd rather live my life like Job, Lord, refine me in the furnace till I'm pure like gold from out the concrete grew a rose. What does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? I'd rather live my life like Job, Lord, refine me in the furnace till I'm pure like gold. The truth is written, it was never sold. There was a man in the land of bulls whose name was Job. Very wealthy, blessed, and healthy with a soul pure as gold. Couldn't find another man like him because he was perfect. Uh, we'll appreciate that. Uh, the water, the water. And that goes to build up the school. And so here's another thing, right? So when you talk about giving money and tithing, what are those pastors doing with that money? Right? We're not supposed to keep driving no bins. I'm, I'm using your money to get a bins or a nice house. Right? I'm using that money to build up the people, to build up the school, man. That's where that money's supposed to go. When you read the Bible, right? We're not out here to take advantage of our people. So we got to understand it. Right? We are here to build the children of Israel up. Tell you that our women, and our women are what? 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 Kings 2 and 2 because you got to compare your man up. You got you to gotta match him up against something. You can't match him up against the, 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 the rules of society, right? The rules of this world because this world is a wicked place. This world is full of darkness, right? They tell our young woman you should be like Cardi B. They tell our young woman you should be like Megan Thee Stallion, right? Which is a male horse, right? We don't get down like that. Our daughters don't move like that, man. You gotta move in the light. You gotta move into, in, in a way that you're, you know you're precious, man. Your body belongs to your husband, not the whole world, right? So when you come up, you gotta cover up, man. Right? A lot of these women, they trying to attract, they, they trying to attract somebody, they attract the wrong man. And then what? And then what? When you find out you don't like them, then what? Now you just got an, another child, no man in that child's life. A man and a woman needs to be in a child's life. So read what you right. got. It's the book of First Kings, chapter two and verse two. Uh -huh. I go the way of all the earth. Uh -huh. Be thou strong, therefore, right. and show, show thyself, thyself a man. man. Read that again. And show, show thyself, thyself a man. man. It says, be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. Right? You can't just say you a man. You got to show yourself a man. Read on. And keep the charge of the Most High thy power. And keep the charge of the Most High thy power. Read on. To walk in his commandments. To do what? To, to walk in his commandments. To walk in his commandments. Read on. And his judgments. And his judgments. Read on. And his testimonies. And his testimonies. Read on. As it is written in the law of Moses. As it is written in the law of Moses. That's how we build ourselves up as young men. Right? We know how to take, take back what belongs to us. Right? We got to stand up as soldiers again. We got to stand up as fighters again, man. Because what? We, we look at ourselves and we think we nothing, man. We have come to a low estate, right? When we go to the you see the same thing every, every time, right? You got black men, black women, they just, they are hanging under the tree all day, right? Just vibing outside. What are you doing with your life, man? Are you serving the most high, right? But let's go back to this curse real quick. So go to, um, we just read, we just read that he said he'll send you um, into bondage again. So what does the word bondage mean? Give me Exodus 22. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Right, read. And the Most High 
shall bring thee into Egypt again. Uh-huh. With shit. With what? With, with shit. shit. With what? With, with shit. shit. He said he'll bring us, bring us into bondage again with shit. Right? Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Meaning he prophesied it and it's going to happen. Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again. We shall see our homeland no more again. Read on. And yeah. it's and then ye shall be sold. We shall be what? And ye shall, shall be, be sold. sold. And we shall be what? Ye shall, shall be sold. sold. And we were sold. That's what they did to us, man. That's what they did to us. Read on. Unto your enemies. Uh-huh. For bond men. Now it says unto your enemies. You were sold unto your enemies. Who are we sold unto, sis? Speak of the devil. Hey, speak of the devil. He pull up right there. Look, look at him. Smiling and cunning. Right? Smiling and cunning. Right? <laughs> Who are we sold to? Right? You believe that, brother? Huh? Who are we? When we when we went into slavery, who are we sold unto? Just answer straight up, please. Don't give me the run around. Oh yeah, absolutely. Right? Who regretted doing that right. later in his life. So let me ask you, let me ask you a question. Did you participate in that? Did I? Yeah. Did your forefathers have anything to do with that? Absolutely. So do you feel sorry for what has happened to the children of Israel? Right? Are you willing to apologize for that? I, I, I have apologized. No, I'm asking times. you, are you willing to apologize right now for that? Because we don't know you. You haven't apologized rightfully. You you hung you hung our forefathers from trees. And you drug you you drug my forefathers from trust, right? right? Until they were ca- you castrated our men. You threw babies to the alligators, and you never apologized to me for that. I'm upset. All of these brothers right here are upset. What's your name? Right? It doesn't matter. My name is Kadash. What? Kadash. Give I me Isaiah to... 49 and 5. Are you willing to apologize? I would like to apologize. Let me Kadash. see. Let, let me see. Watch this. 49, uh, 23. Salam. Yeah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 49 and verse 23. Read. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers. Kings shall be thy nursing fathers. Read on. And their queens thy nursing mothers. So this is role reversal. He said the kings of this earth right now in this dark world, it said they're going to be the ones who nurse you, right, for what they have done to you. Read on. They shall bow down to thee. They shall what? Bow down to thee. They shall what? Bow down to thee. They shall what? Bow down to thee. Are you willing to bow down? That's exactly why you're going into slavery. Because a lot of you lie. A lot of you come saying, I apologize for what I've done to you. I apologize for putting you in the hood, for putting you in the stick. I apologize for putting you through oppression. I apologize for hanging you from trees. I apologize for dragging you from trucks. But that's why you're going into slavery. Give me Isaiah 14 and verse 21. Isaiah 14 and 21. Bring it out. How do you come with those smooth words? You did the same thing to the Native Americans. You did the same thing to the Indians. You come with those smooth words acting like you my friend. But scripture's already told me about you, man. Right? Scripture's already told me how to deal with this man. Right? Because everybody believes, oh, God loved everybody. Where's that in the Bible, man? God loved you for doing this to my people, man? Right? I don't believe your words. You got my forefathers like that. You're not going to get us like that, though. That's man. right. Read what you got. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 21. Read. Prepare slaughter. Do what? Prepare, Prepare slaughter. slaughter. Do what? Prepare, Prepare slaughter. slaughter. Read on. For his children. Uh-huh. For the iniquity of their fathers. For the iniquity of your forefathers. You got to pay, man. Right? Give me Isaiah 14. Go to verse 1. Carl, what you got? Carl, right, read that. Read the that. book of Sarah. Right. So, sis. Chapter 12 and verse 2. Now, this one, hold on. This might look like a rough concept. You're like, man, why they dealing with this white man? Like, no. But let me show you what the scripture is. That ain't even my mama. So when we read who were we sold to, who are we sold on to? People that look like this man. People that come from the same place. He is their children, right? It says never do what? Never trust our enemy. enemy. Read that again? Never trust our enemy. It doesn't matter if he apologize. I apologize to that. Come on, man. Stop playing with us like that, man. You think we fools? Right? Read on. For life as iron rusted, uh-huh. so is his wickedness. wickedness. So is his wickedness. His wickedness going to show. Sooner or later, they come shaking your hand. They come acting like they're your friend, right? They may, you, you might talk to them at the water fountain at your job. How's it going today, uh, Sister Sandra? Right? Acting like they're your friend. But it says sooner or later, their wickedness will show because they can't hide their wickedness, man. Right. 
They can't do it, right? So read what you got, man. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 1. Right, read. For the most high will have mercy on Jacob. The most high will have mercy on Jacob. Jacob is the progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel. Read on. And will yet choose Israel. He won't choose Israel. He's not going to choose this man. The Bible already told me that. Read on. And set them in their own land. He's going to set us in our own land. Why? Because we were scattered to the other nations, man. Read on. And the strangers. The what? And, and the, the strangers. And the who? And, and the, the strangers. And the what? And, and the, the strangers. And the strangers, the heathen, the people that are non-Israelites, our enemies. Read on. Shall be joined with them. They're going to be joined with us when we go back into the kingdom of heaven. Read on. And they shall cleave. To the house of Jacob. There's a reason they're going to cleave to us, though. Let's keep reading. Let's see. Read on. And the people shall take them. We shall what? And, and the, the people, people shall, shall take them. No, we're going to ask them. And, and the, the people shall, shall take them. them. beg Mr. Bobby. And, and the, the people, people shall, shall take them. them. We're going to take them. Read on. And bring them to their place. We're going to bring them to our place, man. Read on. And the house of Israel shall do what? Shall possess them. Shall what? Shall, shall possess them. Shall what? Shall possess them. Shall what? Shall possess them. Shall what? Shall possess the house of Israel, the real Jews, the Israelites shall possess these people. Read on. In the land of the Most High, but serve For what? For serve For what? For serve what? For what? For what? For what? For what? For what? what? And handmaids. And handmaids, man. You're going to weigh out our foot every time we get, man. Right? Because we the one that picked your cotton. We the one that picked sugar cane for y'all. That's why y'all live on the top of the earth right now. You never pay us back for that, man. You never gave us our money back. You never applied reparations to us, man. And you talking about you sorry. You sorry. You're not sorry, man. Get out of here, man. What you got? They said that, that, that the, our reparations is, is a vaccine. Right. The reparations, are, we're saving you. Right? But we understand, man. We, that, we're dealing with the rulers of this earth, man. The rulers of darkness, man. The rulers of dark principalities. Right? These people are not your friend, man. Right? What you got? It's the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 10. Uh-huh. He that leadeth into captivity. Oh, uh, read that again. He that leadeth into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity, into slavery, read on. Shall go into captivity. Didn't they put us in slavery? So what do you think's going to happen? Everybody believes that you reap what you sow until you start talking about what happened to us. Why is that? Nobody believes in karma when we talk about slavery. But you believe in karma with everything else. Why is that? Because they have brainwashed us, man. They tell us that God loves everybody. These pastors who go to seminary school, they teach them a certain doctrine out of this Bible. But you're not ordained by the Most High to teach this Bible. You don't have to go to school to teach this Bible.